Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make sure yes. that your camera is powered on the connect to your computer, something like that. Okay, okay. So this is problem, hardware problems. Okay. So if I'm saying that uh, material in our surroundings, so what we were discussing in the previous class, tell me anyone. We have discussed uh, chemical properties of, uh, sorry, physical properties of matters, the, the characteristics properties of yeah. matter that we have, the particles nature, the matters, the matters is very, very small. The particle of matter is very, very small. Yes. Okay, we have discussed particle of matters. Are very really small are very very small how can you very very small how can you uh prove this activity by by using an activity how can you prove this one um, like i have to take in a microscope and i should see <laughs> <laughs> No, don't have microscope. Suppose, how can you pull this one? Suppose you don't have microscope. All the microscope in the market has been sold out and you are not able to find and you are not able to buy the microscope. Then how will you show this? Hmm? Tell me. For example, if you are having that lit. Wait a minute, let me show you this in the in the So here we have in the book, uh, okay, and you can see here the particles of metals are very, very small. Okay, so if you take 100 ml of substance, okay, but if you take 100 ml of substance and you add some, uh, okay, you have some. Let's suppose you have 100 ml of water, okay, and you add some phenolphthalein, colored phenolphthalein, okay. Or potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate. Okay. Potassium permanganate. So that the solution will become blue in color. Okay. Sorry, yeah. uh, pink, uh, pink, pink in, in color. color. Now, now you take tanamel from it. Okay. Yeah. And you drop it into the next next pure 90 ml water. This is pure 90 ml water. First, you have taken pure 90 ml of water, and then you add it to it. Okay. So before this one, I am going to draw this one. But this is this is pure 90 ml water and you add 10 ml to it. Okay. Then you again take the 10 ml from it and you add again 90 ml of this one. After 90, when 10 is added, it becomes 100 ml. Okay. Got okay. it. And then again you take 10 ml and then you add, add to it. Next one. You will see that the color of this one is very, very dark. Or you can see the dark pink color is found here. Then again, this one is uh when you add it, add it. This will become a little bit light, lighter. And then you take the animal, you add it to this one. This will become again lighter and this one more lighter. So why the color here is become lighter and lighter? Because the particles of metals are very, very small. Every time it is it is parting the colors, it is providing the color to the pure water. Okay. Okay. Not it. If the particles are very big, uh, big in, bigger in size, so for example, these are the bigger in size. So if you take the particles, so let's suppose two particles comes here, okay. And if you take the water from this one, no particle may be uh, passed out through this one, okay. But every time if you take another 10 ml water, then it still it will give the pink color, okay. On yeah. dilution. So you can see here with the activity that that every time, every time. So you can do this one, okay. This experiment show that just a few crystal of potassium permanganate can color the large number of water molecules. That is about 1000 ml. He concluded that there must be millions of tiny particles in one crystal of potassium permanganate, which keep on dividing themselves into smaller and smaller particles. Okay. Got it? Got it? Yes, sir. Got it. Okay. So please note this is the experiment here. 
Okay, this is an activity. So please put it down. Wait a minute. So first, first draw this one. This is the first one. Draw this one. Particles of matters. Particles of matters are very, very small. Then you want this one? Uh, where is the answer? Yes. That? Yeah. Okay. So what we need to do here is we need to write things that uh, for this activity, what we need to do here is so here is the activity. Take out approximately, this is an activity given here. Okay. Take two or three crystal of potassium bimagnet and dissolve it 100 ml of water. Okay. Got it? So you can write it that this experiment, this this can be represented, this activity, or we can say that. The particles of noted down particles of matters, particles of matter, matter are very, very small, are very, very small. This can be proved, can be proved by an activity. That is take take two three crystal crystal of potassium permanent potassium permanent and and add it to hundred ml pure water pure water now. Take 10 ml water from the solution. From the solution and add it to 90 ml pure water. Again, take the 10 ml solution from the from the beaker and add it add it to next 90 ml repeat Repeat it three to four times. What you will observe? Observation. Observation the way you call it. Okay, note it down first. Okay.
पांच तीन आज को रहने आते हैं डन नो सर Done. Oh, wait a second, sir. Okay. Done, sir. Done. Okay. Hello, Fakir. How are you? So we are doing this. Hello, Fakir. Are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm doing. We are just. Studying the characteristics of particles of matter. What are the characteristics part of the particles of matter? The first characteristics of the particle of matter is that particle of matters are very very small. Okay. So what we are studying here is that we are studying that how can we prove that the particles of matters are very very small. This can be proved by an activity. For example, if you take hundred ml of water and take take two to three crystal of potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate that is pink in color. Okay, potassium permanganate. So when you add it, it will become pink in color. Okay. Now take take ten ml of uh, solution from this one and add it to next ninety ml fresh water. Ninety ml fresh water. Fresh water. Okay. So when you add it fresh water. Okay. So this solution will also become pink. Now take another hundred ml of water. Sorry, ten ml of water from this one. And then add it to 90 ml pure fresh water, so it will again becomes pink in color. Then take another 100 ml, okay, 10 ml from it, and then add it to 90 ml again. Then it will become lighter pink. So you the color here the star pink, then light pink, then light pink, then light. Pink. What is means that it simply means that that the color is still going on means it is decreasing, but we say that the particles of matters are very very small. They are just continuously dividing themselves and Into and you can say that two or three uh, crystals only two and three crystals of potassium permanganate can uh, can give the uh, purple color or pink color to the thousand liter of water. Okay, so how how can it it done? How it is possible? Because particles of matters are very very small. They are just they keep on dividing and then can be spread in even thousand liter of water. So this is this show that particles of matters are very very small. So we are just writing here. This activity, the particles of matters are very very small. Okay, small. This can be proved. Yes, this 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 can be proved. This can be proved by an activity that is take two to three crystal of potassium permanganate and add it to hundred ml pure water. Now take ten ml water from the solution, add it to next ninety ml of uh, pure water. Now you take again ten ml from the previous one and add it to next ninety ml fresh water. And again, take the 10 ml from the solution, from the beaker, previous beaker, and okay, and then add it to next 90 ml water, and repeat this three to four times. So what you will observe, you will observe simply that, uh, according to your observation, what you will observe that that the particles of matters are very very small. As you keep on moving, the crystals are uh, means they are just dividing themselves. Okay, got it? Yeah. So, so let you write it here. What are the observations? Wait a minute.
So rightly observation. This experiment shows that a few crystal of potassium permanganate can color the large volume of water, about thousand liters. So we conclude that there must be millions of tiny particles in one crystal of potassium permanganate, which keep on dividing themselves into smaller and smaller pieces particles. Okay. So please note note it down as the observation. Observation. Well, that's uh, in my test book also, it is there. Yeah, yeah, please note it down. Yes, I know this is from your text book. Done? Yes, sir. Yeah. You also, Paki, done? Noted this one? Yes. Uh, so, if I ask you the next property of uh, uh, particles, um, we can say that the like, next characteristics of the particles of matter, that is, particles of matters are continuously moving. Particles of matters are continuously moving. So how can you prove that the particles of matters are continuously moving? Yes. Reema, can you answer me this question? Uh, particles of matters are continuously moving. Because they have space between them? No, this is another characteristic of Particles of matters have a space between them. This is another characteristic. How can you prove that particles of matters are continuously moving? They are keep on moving. Hmm? So if you think there is that nothing, if you, uh, there is nothing to prove about it, I don't know. Okay. If you are it in is the due kitchen, to kinetic energy. Yes, no, no, I'm not asking why it is moving. I'm saying, how can you prove that particles of matters are continuously moving? How can I have an answer for this? I will stop proving it. Okay. What's your answer is? I will stop proving it. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a nice answer. Okay. So if I'm having this is a burner, okay? This is a burner. And the food is being cooked on this burner. Okay. And you know, this is a burner. Okay. So when the food is being cooked over, over this one. Okay. So this, the food means the smell of this food usually uh, reaches to every part of the, every part of the house. Okay. Why it is, is it is reaching? Why the food, the, we can say the, the smell of the food is reaching everywhere. Why it is reaching? Okay. Tell me why the smell of this food. Because it everywhere. is the heating. Because of the is, heat. Because of the heat. Yeah. Okay. If you, okay. So why it should remain here? Na? Why it is going to the living room? It should remain in the kitchen. Why it is, it is being heated here. by right? So if I just keep it, Okay, if I'm saying that, uh, let's you have an agarbatti that is called instant sticks, okay? And because of the air, uh, that smell will mix in the air and it will go to every room and everywhere. So, yeah, you can say that it will start hitting this one. So, the smell of this one will register to the, to the different, different parts of the room. 
Okay, the smell of this instant system will be just a different part of the room. So why it is reaching everywhere? The simple answer is, is because the particles of matter are continuously moving. Okay, the particles are mixed here. Okay, and then it reaches to the different part of the. So we can simply say that the smell of a burning, uh, the particles of uh, matter are continuously moving. This can be proved by this activity that the smells of a cooking food, hot cooking food, reaches to the to every part of the means, uh, living room, okay? Or we can say that different part of the rooms or different part of the house just because of the, okay, the smell of, similarly, the smell of the stents stick will reach to different part of the room, uh, different part of the house because the particles of matter are continuous, okay? Yeah. Got it? Similarly, if you drop, for example, if you, if you are having, uh, you can also prove it by, by using the example that Okay, for example, this is a water, okay, water, water, and you just add a, a, a KMnO4 solution, a crystal of KMnO4, KMnO4, potassium per magnet, potassium per magnet. So if you add it to this one, you will find that this is, this is pink in color. So it will start giving pink color to the whole solution. And after some time, you will find that the whole solution become pink in color. So why it is becoming pink? Why it is becoming pink? Just because of why it is becoming pink? The whole solution will become pink in color because the particles of matter you have you have placed it in the corner, but it is the the whole the solution will is becoming pink in color just because the particles of matter are continuous. Okay. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So we can simply say that uh, so. Noted down that particles of matter are continuously moving because uh, continuously this activity, this uh, characteristics, this characteristics of particles can be proved by by various. Activities such as such as the smell, the smell of skin reaches to other part of the house. From which it is it's just because particle of matter continuous uh, energy. Done? Uh, no, sir. Who is speaking in the background, uh, Rima? Uh, it's my Jiju and my sister. My sister and my Jiju. Yeah. Okay. So try to unmute your mic uh, when you need to speak something and you can unmute. Yeah. Okay, sir. Finish. Finish. Yes. Okay. So, Rima, finish. So, wait a second. I will just finish it. Uh, sir, what is written after house? House, uh, from kitchen. From kitchen. Okay.
done Eva? the next property if i discuss that if a question comes here that why the particles of matters are continuously moving or if, if i take this question from your ncrt okay if, if the question is being asked in examinations here that give reasons give reasons the smell of hot seething food which is to several meters away but the smell of cold food you means that the food kept in the refrigerator okay you, you need if you need to smell that food you need to go closer to it it does not reach to every part why, uh, why where is this the i didn't hear it so here's the question that give reason why the smell of hot sizzling sizzling food reaches to several meters away means if you are cooking if you are cooking the food okay if you are cooking the food, then in that case, the cooked food smell means the hot food smell reaches to different different part of the room. But if the yes. same food is okay, if the same food is kept in the refrigerator, for example, if the same food is kept in the refrigerator, okay. So here, if the food is kept, okay, here the food is kept. So you will find that the smell of this food is not like going every day. Why? Why? Food that is kept in the refrigerator, the smell of that food is not reaching to every part, but the cooking food smell reaches to every part. Because the air is packed. Because the air is packed. Yes. Okay. Because the air is packed. No, if you open the door, then it's still, it will not reach. Because the cold food has less kinetic energy. Because you know that ice is cold. Why ice is cold? Because colder particles are very close to each other. They have less kinetic energy. Yeah. Okay. So similarly, if we cool the food, if we keep it refrigerator, the particles of the uh, don't uh, the particles don't have much kinetic energy. But the cooking food has is hotter and it has much kinetic energy. Okay. So it will reach us to different part of it. Okay. So, okay. So the questions come. Please note this question in your copy. This is an important question. So give reason, give reason for the following. Note it down. The smell of the smell of hot sizzling food which is to several meters away, but but to get this smell of the cold food, you have to please note this question number two. When you done, please let me okay. Yes. Okay. So let's move that what should be the answer for this question. We have to write that hot food, hot food particles, food particles have have high kinetic energy, have more kinetic energy as comparison to cold happen Happen fridge. Okay. Not it. So hot food particles have more kinetic energy as comparison to the cold food cap in the fridge. So, so 
the particles particles of hot food can travel more more distance more distance than for food particles but just note it down Uh, sir, what is written after energy as? Particles of magnet more the kinetic energy as comparison. Okay. Comparison. Finished. Finished. You also? No, sir. Note it fast. Then, sir. Okay, here's another question that, uh, that you see here on the screen. That a driver, a diver, diver, sorry, diver. a diver means a person who can swim, is able to cut through the water in a swimming pool. Which property of matter does this observation show? Which property? The particles, here are the properties, so let me explain what are the properties of how many properties are there okay means if if you are having a swimming pool okay and if you and if you are swimming in it then you are able to dive in okay similarly the particles in the water in the air also you are able to move your hand in this way but in solid you are not able to move it so why you are able to uh means a diver is able to cut the water water in the swimming pool which property of water does it show through your observations, tell me which property of matter do you think that it should? Hmm? Do particles of matters attract each other? The particles of matters have a space between them. Hmm? Particles of matters uh, are continuously moving. Particles of matters are very very small. So, which property do you think that it, it shows? And if a diver is able to cut, tell me, Rima, and are you also looking okay, huh? uh, Which property? Uh, Do you think that uh, if I'm saying that, just why why do you think that it is able to cut the water? Do you think that uh, if the particles of matters are very very close to each other? Okay very very close to each other will you able to cut them in solids solids why are you not able to cut the particles of solids yeah we are not able to cut right uh, we are not able to cut the particles of solids so this simply can be explained that the particles of matters have a space between them okay so particles so answer is simple for this question is particles of matters have a space between them okay will you able to write the answers the particles of matter have a space between them so so this one note, note this question the diver is able to cut the swimming pool water this shows that the particles of matters have a space between them okay note, note the answer for this question particles of matters have a space between them
Sir, can you tell me once again? I didn't hear you properly. So write the questions there, okay, and write the answer for this one. That the particles of matter, the property shown in this case is particle of matter attract. Sorry, have a space between them. First, write the question and write the answer. Particles of matter have a space between them, okay. So write the answer for this yes, question. Sir. That particles of matter have a space between them, okay. Sir, finish. Okay. Particles of matters have a space between them. Okay. Answer for this question is particles of matter have a space between them. Okay, that's why you are able to dive. Okay, you are able to. Got it? Yes, sir. Next, next. Here is if this is the next question from you here. Okay. So if you are having another question here. It is given that comment on the following. Sorry, a gas that we have learned these properties of the gases, liquid, uh, and and the solid that particles of solids are very very close to each other. Particles of gases have very very far apart. They have a large amount of intermolecular space. Okay, we have studied this. One. So here the question that uh, give reason for gas can fill the container completely. What what is the reason behind this? Why they are gas? Why gases are able to fill the container completely? Why gases? Yes, Fakia, do you have any idea that why gases uh, have can fill their container completely? Uh, because it uh, it's having a lot of space with between them. Because the force of attraction between the particles of sol uh, of of gas is very very less. Okay, so they can easily they have yeah you can say they because they have very large molecular space, intermolecular space, and they have very less. Force of attraction between their particles. Okay, so why why liquids are not able to fill? Because the particles of liquids attract the another particles of liquid. Okay, there is a large force of attraction. Got it? Okay, are you understood? Yes. So if I ask you to write the answer for this question, so let's discuss these questions again because these are important questions. Index questions are important. So let's discuss this one. Discuss this. So if I ask you that here, the gases can easily fill the container completely between simply because particles have large intermolecular space. And second point reason: the force of attraction. The force of attraction between between the particle of gases particle of gases is very less okay. as comparison to is very less as comparison to solid and liquids as comparison solid and liquids not a down um, The same answer is for the same question. In same answer, the gas exert pressure on the bore of the container. The same answer because force of attraction between the particles of solid gases is very very less as compared to solid and liquid. Okay, same answer for the A and B. But there is the same answer. Okay, got it, Fakia? 
Yes. And Rima, you also? Yes, sir. The wooden table should be of solid uh, B. The next one is we can easily move our hand in here, but not in the but in not in the solid blocks. So the same answer for this question also. Because the force of attraction between the solid particles is very, very large as compared to uh, that in gas. So we can say the force of attraction between the particle of gas is very, very less as comparison to solids. Only you have to write the solids. For this answers, you need not to write the liquids. Okay, just write the solids. Okay. Got it? Uh, B, C, and D is the same answer. Yes. A, B, and D is going to have the same answer. A, B, and D are going to have the same answer. Uh, what about C? See, we are not going to discuss this one. See, let it be. Okay. Ninth. Done? Yes, sir. Okay. So, if I'm having another questions here in front of you, and that is, liquid generally have lower density as comparison to that in solids. Okay. The density of liquids have is lower. For example, means if I'm saying, saying that if you are having liquid, something in liquid state and same the same thing in the solid states, generally solids have more, more density as comparison to that of liquids. Okay. And you know that the more denser substance gets sink in the liquid substance. For example, if you are having, uh, let's for example, if you are having water, this is water. Okay. And if you kept an ice water, sorry, if you are having, let you kept an iron nail. So the iron nail will get dipped uh, or will get sink into the into the water. Okay, it gets sink. Why it is sinking? Because the density of iron nail is more as comparison to that of water. Okay, so iron nail easily gets sink. So more dense denser substance gets sink into the in, in water. Okay, if if something is more denser than uh, water, then it gets sink into the water. Okay, so in generally we say that the solids are more denser than liquids. Like the iron will uh, get dissolved into the water. Okay, oh, sorry, get uh, sink into the water. Okay, so but if you you have you are very much familiar, but if you are having a sherbet or you can say that a drink, okay, then if you place some ice cube over it, you will find that the the ice cube float over the over the drink. Why why they float float over it? Okay, because ice. Still, the we can say that ice are solids and liquid water is liquid, so ice must have more density. But you know that this is not true. Okay, actually, when I water is formed, when water is formed, the there is means when I am saying that when water is converted into ice, okay, at that time, at that time, the air is being trapped in the we can say that air get trapped. In this structure of this ice is like this. You can say the structure of ice is like this. Okay, this is water. Okay, so air get trapped in these holes. Okay, these are the vent. So we can say that the ice is less denser than water. Water is more denser than ice. Okay, that's why in case of ice. The density of ice is less than the water. Still, it is solid, but it's an exception here. Still, the water is sorry, ice is solid. Okay, but still we can say that here the ice float on the surface of the uh, water just because there is air trapped, air get trapped in the ice molecules, or we can say that when ice is formed, the air get trapped inside it, resulting in. Uh, we can say that uh, resulting in lesser density of ice as compared to that of water. Okay, so we can say that ice float, ice float on the surface surface of water because 
आइस एन आइस एन आइस आइस एयर देर इज स्पेस इन आइस देयर इज एयर स्पेस बिटवीन इट्स पार्टिकल्स इट्स पार्टिकल्स एंड बिटवीन इट्स बिटवीन इट्स पार्टिकल Between its management, resulting in decreasing density of Water has more density than ice. That's why food, food. Therefore, ice food. Ice flows on water. Okay, on liquid water. Okay, you have been exper you can experiment it. Okay, for example, keep a water bottle, a fully filled water bottle. Okay, It means there is no. Space should be there, okay. Means you just completely fill the water, okay, in a bottle, and then tightly pack it, okay, and then put in the refrigerator for freezing, okay. You will find that you will find that the uh, when the when the this water bottle get converted into I mean this water in the bottle get converted into the ice, the volume of the of the bottle get increases, okay. Uh, if it is if it is if the bottle is of uh, uh because if it, the bottle is of glass, then it can break the glass also because. When ice is formed, the volume increases. Volume increases means density decreases. Okay, if there is more volume, then density will decreases. Okay, so we can say that when our water get converted into ice, the density of water or ice decreases. Got it? Got it? So you can do this experiment at your home also. Okay, But sir. Don't do this one. Don't do this one with the uh, glass bottle. Okay, because glass bottle will break. Because if if the it if there is an expansion take place and the bottles in expansion take place, so what is going to happen? The glass will break. Okay, because the, there is no expansion. Means in in glass bottles we cannot do the expansion. Okay, the plastic bottle can expand, but glass bottle can't expand. Okay, noted this one. Hmm? Yes, sir. So for Kiha, you you got yes, it. That why do ice float yes. on the surface? Simple. Ice float on the surface of water because in ice there is air space between the between its molecules, resulting in decreasing the density of ice. Thus, in case of ice and water, water is more dense. Water has more density than ice. That's why ice float on the liquid water. Okay, what? What it? So that's all for today. Okay, because we are just going to have another class. So please try to find on time you both. Okay, for the next time. So that's all for today. We'll meet you in the next. Okay. Okay thank you so much okay okay good